This is the start of the last lap. That's the gap. Alan Jones getting closer and closer all the time. But, as James has just said, catching up is one thing, getting past is quite another. And it's going to be a very, very determined Jean-Pierre Jabouy after so many failures this season. He means to win. He's got victory behind him last year at France. He's got the chance of a second Grand Prix win in front of him with only about two miles to go now in this 200-mile race. His teammate, René Arnoux, the fastest lap so far when he rejoined on soft compound tyres after his pit stop. And it's over the crest and down to the Bosch curve for the last time, the 54th and last time. Javoui does look annoyingly in control from Jones's point of view, but it's been a great charge by Alan Jones, the way he's fought back towards the end of the race. And of course, he's absolutely right to do that, because little things can go wrong with Javoui's car. He can make a mistake, he's tired, it's been a long race, and Jones has really done a, done a great fight against, really against heavy odds. And Jean-Pierre Javoui must be both a relaxed and a worried man, paradoxically enough, in the cockpit. Relaxed because he's well into the rhythm of the race, it's nearly over. Worried because things can still go wrong, but there's not very much longer for him to wait. And Alan Jones certainly can't take him unless something goes wrong with the Renault in the very, very closing stages. And that would be cruel and bitter luck. He's into the last corner. Jabwe can see the chequered flag. Jones right behind him, getting closer but not close enough. Jabwe wins and Jones is in second place and a fine and very well-deserved victory for the Frenchman.